Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a critical aspect of semi-truck performance, suspension systems. A truck suspension is not just a set of springs. It's a complex system that affects ride quality, handling, cargo safety, and overall operational efficiency. Whether you're an owner-operator or managing a fleet, understanding these systems can significantly impact your decision-making. Let's explore the various types of suspension systems, their configurations, advantages, disadvantages, and the best applications for each. Suspension systems are designed to support the weight of the vehicle, absorb road shocks, and maintain contact between the tires and the road surface. They consist of springs, shock absorbers, and other components that work together to provide stability and comfort. The primary types of suspension systems used in semi-trucks include leaf spring suspension, air suspension, torsion bar suspension, hydraulic suspension, walking beam suspension. Each of these systems has unique characteristics that make them suitable for different trucking applications. Let's start with leaf spring suspension, the most traditional and widely used system in heavy-duty trucks. How it works. Leaf springs consist of multiple layers of metal, known as leaves, stacked on top of each other. When weight is applied, the leaves flex to absorb shock and support the vehicle's load. Advantages Durability Leaf springs are incredibly strong and can withstand heavy loads without deformation. This makes them ideal for trucks that regularly carry significant weight. Simplicity The design of leaf springs is straightforward, leading to fewer components that could fail. This simplicity often translates into lower maintenance costs. Cost effective Leaf spring systems are less expensive to manufacture and install compared to more complex systems. Disadvantages Ride quality While leaf springs are great for supporting heavy loads, they can lead to a bumpy ride, especially on uneven surfaces. The lack of cushioning can also transfer road shock to the cab and cargo. Limited adjustability Leaf springs do not provide the flexibility to adjust for varying load conditions easily, which can affect handling and stability. Many trucks use leaf springs on all axles for maximum strength and reliability. This is particularly beneficial for freight carriers that regularly haul heavy loads or operate in rough terrain. 3. Air Suspension Next, we have air suspension, a system that uses air-filled bags instead of traditional metal springs. How it works Air suspension systems consist of rubber or polyurethane airbags that inflate or deflate based on the load. A compressor fills the bags with air, providing cushioning and support. Advantages Superior ride quality Air suspension offers a significantly smoother ride. The airbags absorb shocks and vibrations more effectively than leaf springs, which is especially beneficial for sensitive cargo. Load adjustability The air pressure in the bags can be adjusted to accommodate different load weights, allowing for better load distribution. This can improve fuel efficiency and handling. Reduced wear The softer ride reduces wear and tear on both the vehicle and the cargo, extending the lifespan of your truck and its components. Disadvantages Higher cost Air suspension systems are generally more expensive to purchase and install due to their complexity and the need for additional components like compressors and air lines. Maintenance Requirements Air systems require regular maintenance to ensure there are no leaks or malfunctions. An air leak can lead to reduced performance and even unsafe driving conditions. Trucks configured with air suspension often feature leaf springs in the front for stability while utilizing air suspension in the rear to enhance ride quality and handling, particularly under varying load conditions. 4. Mixed Configurations Leaf Spring Front, Air Suspension Rear Many modern semi-trucks feature a mixed configuration, using leaf springs on the front axle and air suspension on the rear. Why this configuration? Enhanced stability the leaf springs in the front provide a solid, stable platform for steering and handling, especially during turns. Improved comfort Air suspension in the rear allows for a cushioned ride, which can be particularly beneficial for long-haul drivers who encounter various road conditions. Advantages Balanced performance This combination provides a balance between load-bearing capacity and ride comfort, making it suitable for diverse applications from long-haul trucking to regional delivery. Adaptability The air suspension can easily adjust to varying loads, enhancing the truck's overall handling characteristics. Disadvantages Complexity and cost 
This setup can increase the complexity of the suspension system, requiring more maintenance and potentially leading to higher repair costs over time. 5. Torsion Bar Suspension Moving on, let's discuss torsion bar suspension. This system uses a bar that twists under load to provide spring action. How it works. Torsion bars are anchored at one end and provide resistance by twisting as the vehicle moves over bumps and uneven surfaces. Advantages Compact design Torsion bar systems are more compact compared to leaf springs, allowing for a lower ride height and more ground clearance. Smooth ride They provide a smoother ride than traditional leaf springs, which can be advantageous in lighter duty applications. Disadvantages Less common in heavy duty trucks while torsion bars are effective for lighter applications, they are less prevalent in heavy-duty trucks due to their load limitations. Adjustment needs Maintaining proper torsion and alignment can be more complex, requiring regular adjustments. 6. Hydraulic Suspension Next, we have Hydraulic Suspension, a system that uses hydraulic fluid to adjust ride height and provide cushioning. How it works Hydraulic suspension systems use a series of fluid-filled cylinders to manage load and cushioning. When the truck encounters bumps, the hydraulic fluid shifts to absorb shock. Advantages Excellent ride quality Hydraulic systems can offer an extremely smooth ride, effectively absorbing impacts from rough road surfaces. Load adjustment Similar to air suspension, hydraulic systems can be adjusted for varying loads, providing optimal ride height and comfort. Disadvantages Complexity The hydraulic system is complex and can be prone to leaks, which can compromise performance. Cost and Maintenance Like air suspension, hydraulic systems are expensive to install and require regular maintenance to ensure they are functioning correctly. 7. Walking Beam Suspension Finally, let's talk about walking beam suspension, which is commonly found in off-road or specialty trucks. How it works Walking beam systems use pivoting beams to distribute weight across multiple axles. As one axle encounters a bump, the other can flex down, helping to keep the truck stable. Advantages Great for rough terrain. Walking beam suspension excels in off-road conditions, allowing trucks to maintain traction and stability on uneven surfaces. Load Distribution The system provides excellent load distribution, reducing stress on individual axles and enhancing tire life. Disadvantages Limited use While great for off-road applications, this suspension type may not be efficient for on-highway use, where a smoother ride is preferred. Complex Design the complexity of the walking beam system can lead to higher maintenance costs and potential issues with wear and tear. In summary, each suspension system has its strengths and weaknesses. Leaf spring suspension, best for heavy loads and durability but offers a harsher ride. Air suspension, provides superior comfort and adjustability but at a higher cost and maintenance requirement. Mixed configurations, balances stability and comfort, ideal for versatile trucking needs. Torsion bar and hydraulic suspension, offer unique benefits for specific applications, focusing on smooth rides but may be complex. Walking beam suspension, perfect for off-road conditions, though not ideal for on-highway travel. Choosing the right suspension system depends on your specific needs, whether you prioritize load capacity, ride quality, or adaptability to different road conditions. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more trucking content.